So we've been reacting to Filipino historical movies and Filipino cultural things. So it raised the question like, can people really actually learn, learn from history. watching the movies? So today we're taking a history quiz to see how much we know about Filipino history. OMG, my friend Scrappy, she's a streamer. She says that I must know more history than her because the other day it was a Bonifacio Day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh yeah, Andres Bonifacio, the Katipuna leader. Yeah. And she was like, oh yeah, oh my God, I didn't know you knew that. And so like, you must know more history than me. <laughs> Este video llega a ustedes gracias a nuestros patrones. Especialmente Belki, Emilio, Junior, Edgar, Fred, Gabriel y Niño. Soy Luna TV. ¡Hola, Lunatics! Bienvenidos a... Soy Luna TV. A Cosi Sol. A Cosi Luna. Ay, ay, Nandito Cami para más reacts a... Wait. We are not reacting. We are taking a Philippine wow. history quiz. Claro, Tayo, guys. If you wanna play with us in your houses, get some pen and paper and let's start. Before we take the quiz, huge shout out to our certified and verified Sol Lunatics, especially Cherry Floor, Janice, Soju, Kenneth. AJ Primicias, Glenn Jen, Brian Cabosoras, and Eggy. Thank you very much for joining our members. If you want to join our membership as well, you can click on the join button next to the subscribe, subscribe button. button. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now, activate the bell so you, miss, you don't miss the notifications when we upload the video. And also you can follow us on social media. We are everywhere at Sol Luna TV. And join our Discord server so you can interact with us. The link is in the description of this video and all our videos. Who was the first president of the first Philippine Republic or the Manolos, Manolos Report? Emilio Aguinaldo, Manuel Quezon or Manuel Roxas? The answer is Aguinaldo. Emilio Aguinaldo, my boy. <laughs> okay, he's <laughs> not my boy. <laughs> he's not my boy. I just like the actor who plays it in the movie, which is Mon Confiado. Yeah! Wow, we got this. Got one question right. One Maybe this is the only one we're gonna get correct, and then the, all the other stuff is historical callbacks that we don't know anything about. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's see number two. Who won the presidency in 1965 and was the first president to be re elected for a second term in office? Diosdado Macapagal, Fidel Ramos, or Ferdinand Marx? My answer is Ferdinand Marcos. My answer is just that I'm a Capagal. I selected Ferdinand because I think I heard that he was re-elected. So, well, let's see because we But don't I don't know if he was the, the first, first president to be re-elected. Yeah. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Okay, that was, that was luck. I didn't actually <laughs> know this information. for the next question on March uh, they are putting dates in the 42 who said the famous line I shall return President Franklin Roosevelt General Douglas MacArthur or President Manuel Quezon I actually know this one you know yes because of General Luna's movie well my answer is General Douglas MacArthur that's my answer too because I remember it was a, an American general who did this amenaza. Okay. <laughs> that they were going to return let's and check whatever if we are happened. right. Yes! 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 <laughs> you have all the answers correct so far. Yes! Founded the Katata San Kalagang Galangang. Katipunan, oh. Amaga, Anak, Ambayan, We were just KKK. talking about this. 
<laughs> we were just talking about this. It's my boy. Andres Our Bonifacio. Boy. Andres Bonifacio. Siempre. Because I know. We know him. Very inspired. Question number five. On March 16, 1521, Magallanes expedition landed in the Philippines on the island of Homo Hong Island, Suluan Island, or Guiang Island. I have no idea, and I am going to guess. <laughs> it said that it's Suluan Island. Me too. Oh, really? Yeah. So if we are both incorrect, we are both incorrect. We are both incorrect. But if we are both, both correct, we are both correct. Ah! Oh, oh, Number six. Who led the rebellion in Mactan that results to the death of Ferdinand Magellan? Oh, I know the answer. Raja Humabong. That to Sula. Ah, yes, I know the answer of this, my friend. It's our boy, Lapu. Lapu. Yes. Hey, guys, we know about history. I cannot. <laughs> Out of the five ships who left on the Magellan ex expedition in 1519, only one ship returned to Seville, Spain on September 6, 1522. What is the name of that ship? Gloria Santiago or Trinidad? I chose Trinidad. I chose Victoria because I feel that it's going to be poetic. Like, oh, the, the ship was called Victoria and they were victorious, you know? Well, I chose a female name because usually they name the ships female names. Yeah, Victoria is a female name too. Yes. Well, I, so I let's chose, see who's right. I chose Trinidad. <laughs> let's see who's I right. went with my guts. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Melcora Aquino was acknowledged as the mother of the Katipuna and was also known as Bugatlawin Diwa or Tadang Sora. I have no idea. I don't know anything about Melchora Aquino. I also went with you. Oh, really? Did you copy from me? Because <laughs> I see you, I saw you like seeing. No, bitch. <laughs> I also went with the U. Oh, really? Ah, oh, oh, Tang 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 Sora. He changed the date of the celebration of the Philippine independence from July 4 to July 12. Ferdinand Marcos, Diosdado Macapagal, or Emilio Ninar? My answer is Diosdado Macapagal. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> but my reasoning for this is the Filipino independence is very recent. Kind of, yes. And I feel like this kind of change obviously could not be made by Emilio Aguinal, no? Yeah, and I feel like Ferdinand Marcos already is the answer to one of the previous questions. Yeah, so, so yes, like I, we had to like yeah, I feel the highlight the importance of something that Macapagal did. Yeah, you know? I feel just that <laughs> Macapagal did some historical stuff. So yeah, that's why I chose him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hey, we are certified Philippines. I am getting Five scared because uh, now the stuff is getting more recent and I don't know recent history. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On July 4, 1946, who was inaugurated as the first president of the Third Republic, Republic of the Philippines? Elfidio Quirino, Manuel Rojas, or Fidel Ramos. I'm not going to change my answer. Stop. <laughs> I am very conflicted in this one. But I'm gonna go with my gut and I'm going to say that it's Manuel Rojas. How oh, about you? said it aloud? Yes. I went with Elpidio Quirino. So let's see who's right. Oh my! No way! Dude, 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 I guessed that. I didn't know this information. Like me. How, how would I know? I know 
that we reacted to something and that we were arguing like, well, what do you mean the first president? Because it was, uh, the first president was the Aguinaldo and people were like, it's like, Because fine. they say Quezon because Quezon was. But ah, I'm not gonna so talk was, about it because then if this comes up in a question. Ah, so it was Quezon and why I remember like it was someone with the letter M. Let's continue, please. Okay. Because That's why I selected the letter If we Manuel share too Rojas. much, then there can be a question about it and then you're gonna be like, ah. Why did I share this information? Oh, okay. He returned to the Philippines and proposed the establishment of a civil organization called La Liga Filipina. Options, Jose Rizal, Jose Laurel, and Sergio Osmeña. I have no idea. I'm going to go with my thoughts. Did Rizal propose an organization like this? I'm going to go with Rizal anyways. The reason why I'm going with Jose Rizal is because of the sentence, he returned to the Philippines. Yeah, but maybe those other options also returned to the Philippines. Well, we don't know because the only person I know in that option that is being like traveling and going back to the Philippines is Jose Rizal. <laughs> That's my reasoning. Let's I gotta go with answer. that. I gotta go with the little information I get. Yeah. Oh my God. February 2, 1543, and then established a colony in Sarangani. Sarangani! Ah, Lapu Lapu, Villalobos, or Álvaro de Saavedra. The reason why I am choosing Villalobos is because, I mean, in the Magellan era, Lapu Lapu was there, but like there was already a question about Lapu Lapu, so I feel like they wouldn't include another question about Lapu Lapu. <laughs> Well, so I'm just selecting another one from the other My option. clue is that this person established a colony and Lapu Lapu is not a colonizer. He's a oh, Filipino here. It's true. So I chose Alvaro de Saavedra because he's the one who sounds like a colonizer. Oh, it's true. Oh my God. I think you're probably right. Let's see if that's true. Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I thought you were totally correct in this one. <laughs> who was the president of the Philippines? Who of the Philippines? Okay, it's repeated. Who died in an airplane crash on March 17, 1957? Dios mío. The options are Ramon Magsaysay, Diosdado Macapagal, and Carlos Garcia. I didn't even know there was a president who died in an airplane crash. What are the odds? What did you say? I selected Ramon. I selected Ramon and the reason is the same reason as I said earlier. Like, since we already had an answer about Diosdado, I feel like they wouldn't include another one about him. Oh, yes, yes, yes he was. Oh my God. So sorry. So sorry. May he rest in peace. Who was appointed by the King Philip II as the first Governor General of the Philippines? Wesley Merritt, Diego de los Rios, and Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. I'm going with. Legazpi. I'm going with Legazpi too. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I'm going with Legazpi because I feel like a there's a street on his name. I just feel like letter A, option A, is too, is too American. American for a Spanish yeah. government. Yes! yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Is this really happening? I already have two incorrect answers. I have a lot of incorrect answers. On 1895, in order to help achieve its goals, the propaganda movement put up its own newspaper called this one, right? Manila Bulletin, the Philippine Star, or La Solidaridad. I'm gonna go with La Solidaridad. Me too. It sounds like something from the Spanish era because it's 1895, right? Yes. And this is the propaganda movement, like. Plus, Manila Bulletin and the Philippine Stars are current newspapers. Yes, and I feel like Manila was not established by that time yet, right? 
Manila itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there it is. I it's logic. Know. It's just logic. I because know this one from the, the video of uh, talking about how Filipinos don't speak Spanish, even though they were a colony. He was the first president of the Republic of the Philippines. He was noted for the enunciation of the Filipino first policy. We have <laughs> Carlos Garcia, the one that I Ramon Hansaisai, and Diosdado Macapagal. I'm going to go with Carlos Garcia because we still haven't had a question about him. Yeah, that's, that's my the reason only logic. <laughs> that's the only logic. Yeah! Yeah! On the night of July 7, 1892, Jose Rizal was banished and exiled to Cavite, Bulacan, or Dapitan. In Cavite. I chose Bulacan. Oh, oh, none we of us. Both wrong. None of us is Yeah, there. we didn't learn about that. A Filipino painter, a sculptor, and political activist of the Philippine Revolution during the late 19th century, he became one of the first recognized Philippine artists. Juan Napquil, Julian Felipe, and Juan Luna. And I actually, actually know, know the this. answer to this. General Luna's oh, movies. Yeah. And he was Juan Luna. Juan Luna. He was a General Luna. An artist in general. Yeah. So, he was yeah. very yeah. famous in Spain, too, guys. And we are probably descendants of him. <laughs> yes. Yes. Question 19. He was elected as the first president of the Supreme Council of the Katipuna. Bonifacio, Arellano, or Hassin? I'm gonna go with Bonifacio. Like, wasn't this the leader of the revolution? I went Porque with Jacinto because maybe Bonifacio appointed him. Wow, wow. none of us got it right. Yeah. Question 20. After the war in the Philippines, the Commonwealth was restored and he won as the first president of the Independent Republic of the Philippines. Uh, Sergio Osmeña, Manuel Rojas, or Manuel Queso. You uh, were absolutely correct and not discuss the details. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this may, <laughs> may be a point in life. I know that. Oh, wait for the answer. It's que so, my friend. We know. <laughs> Yay! So, how many correct answers did you get? I said 12. 12 de 20. I got 16 out of 20. It's not bad. The thing goes. But be proud that we know this much. Yeah, this is not even my country. Exactly. I'm not supposed to know any wow. of this. <laughs> yeah, like how do we know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, really, like you can learn things by just watching and movies and reacting to videos on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> who had thought? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I think I'm ready to have my Filipina card, guys. Yes, please. <laughs> Give us our Filipina card. And yes. let's give an applause to Sol, who is the winner of this challenge. How did I win? An applause. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all the love and validation of people in the comments, right? <laughs> salamat, salamat. <laughs> and now watch this, this video. video appears right here, recommended by YouTube's algorithm. Especially, especially for you. you. So click on it right, right now. now.